I think all of this has affected my sister profoundly. Now that she lives on her own, away from most of the family, she doesn't know how to interact properly, makes terrible choices in men, and has an outdated mentality. She doesn't think for herself, which is deeply saddening. Although she looks amazing for her age, with most people assuming she's in her 20s, I find it disturbing that the man she's involved with is in his 50s and appears predatory. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, my sister's shocking affair, she's sleeping with a married man. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. This is a good lesson video, guys, about choosing the right woman, which means you must rationally dig into a woman's past actions and decisions and come to know her family belief systems as well. As usual, there is something to learn here. My sister is intentionally involved in a secret affair with a married man and I'm uncertain how to handle the situation. She's my older sister and has always been peculiar. She had the audacity to introduce him to our parents as if meeting him would make them approve. Even though he has children and is undergoing marital counseling with his wife, my sister continues to sleep with him. She seems to have lost her sense of reason, and I'm utterly disgusted by her behavior. Slap to the back of the head of your sister. What the hell is wrong with her? She's having an affair with a man who's cheating on his wife while they are in marriage counseling. Oh well, he's a stand-up guy, a real paragon of virtue. What could possibly go wrong in her relationship with a married cheater? I believe her actions stem from loneliness. She's over 40, and our parents were overly protective immigrant conservatives who raised us to be naive. Slap to the back of the head. That is called minimizing behavior and making excuses. I don't give a flying fornication at a rolling dog. She and he are making conscious choices here. There is no rational universe where you should be making any kind of excuses for her behavior. I'm labeled the rebel because I learn to set boundaries and prioritize my well-being. My sister, however, has been treated like a child all her life and still acts like one. No shit, really? I think we all call that a sense of entitlement. After graduate school, she lived with relatives in another state because it was cheaper than renting an apartment and our aunt didn't want her to live in the city deeming it too dangerous. This only worsened her situation. Our relatives were extremely supportive, imposing a curfew on her despite being in her 30s and forcing her to join them in daily worship. They embody the typical super conservative, highly religious immigrant mentality, even more extreme than American conservatives. Okay, hold up here. What you just said, absolutely has nothing to do with conservatism, religious or otherwise, and everything to do with a collective family belief system. Pathological control issues, 
are pathological control issues, regardless of liberal or conservative ideological beliefs. I think all of this has affected my sister profoundly. Now that she lives on her own away from most of the family, she doesn't know how to interact properly, makes terrible choices in men, and has an outdated mentality. She doesn't think for herself, which is deeply saddening. Although she looks amazing for her age, with most people assuming she's in her 20s. I find it disturbing that the man she's involved with is in his 50s and appears predatory. Well, yes. I hate to say it, but your sister is damaged goods. And such people, be they male or female, to them, they are prey. I feel nauseated when I see him and sometimes want to anonymously inform his wife providing all the evidence. Other times I consider cutting off all contact with my sister because despite her unfortunate upbringing I can't be around her and we have nothing in common. My sister is naive and childlike with a stunted mentality. She insists she won't end the relationship because she loves him, claiming that if I only get to know him, I'd understand. When I ask her how she'd advise me if my husband was cheating, she responded, well, if that's who he loves, this infuriated me. It seems she'd allowed her own sister to be disrespected and expects me to be okay with infidelity. Okay, I know you think she is, quote, naive and childlike with a stunted mentality. However, based on what I've read since I, since I am not close to it as you are, I disagree. Stay tuned to the end to hear my thoughts as I explain why. Moreover, I suspect that she has feelings for my husband. She made inappropriate comments about him and has been overtly close and touchy. My husband consistently shuts down her advances and informs me whenever he senses she's trying to make a move. She occasionally texts him but hasn't messaged me at all since I expressed my disapproval of her behavior. Thankfully, my husband tells me everything. High five to your husband. Lady, you have a keeper there. A man who, by his actions, values his marriage and by telling you has not only demonstrated loyalty, but his duty to protect. I'm torn about how to proceed. Should I expose her affair? attempt to mend our relationship while trying to ignore the situation, which feels impossible, or cut off all contact until they hopefully separate or he passes away. I'm inclined to tell his wife, but I'm afraid of potential violent reactions. While I'm disgusted with my sister, I don't want to put her in danger either. First off, I'm sorry your sister has put you in this position and I empathize with you and the affair partner's wife as well. Second, I think you should tell the wife what's going on. Send what evidence you can and tell her where to start looking. Give dates, times, locations to look at. Either she will choose to believe you or she won't. At that point, You've done your due diligence. Now, when I said I disagree with the naive and childlike with a stunted mentality, here is my take and view as to what my gut is telling me. Your sister's behavior screams to me, and this is my opinion, mind you, not a professional diagnosis, deep-rooted psychological and emotional issues, which are ex exacerbated by her upbringing and current life circumstances. Her behavior suggests a form of arrested development 
and I'm not talking the TV show. Being treated like a child well into adulthood, she never fully developed an emotional maturity and autonomy necessary for healthy relationships. The infantilization by your parents and relative has left her emotionally stunted, unable to make sound decisions or set appropriate boundaries. Her childlike mentality, coupled with a lack of real-world experience, likely contributes to her poor choices in relationships. You said she's lonely. Well, the fear of loneliness, especially as she ages like some people, may be driving her to cling to relationships that are clearly unhealthy and morally questionable. Over 40 and likely aware of social pressures on women to find a partner. She might be acting out of desperation. The fact that she is involved with a much older, married man suggests she's willing to accept substandard relationships rather than face the prospect of being alone. Her sense of self-worth seems to be tied to external validation, which she is seeking in the wrong places. This leads me to point out by your own words, your sister's insistence that this affair is based on love Despite clear evidence to the contrary, the man's ongoing marital counseling and commitment to his family points to significant cognitive dissidence. She is likely aware on some level of the moral and ethical issues at play, but she has created a narrative to justify her actions. This self-delusion serves as a very common defense mechanism, I mean, come on, haven't we all had that or seen it or witnessed it in people? To protect herself from confronting the painful truth of her situation and her role in it. Her focus on her own desires, even at the expense of others, such as the man's wife and children, and her expectation that you should accept or even support her choices, suggests a level of, well, self-absorption. The inappropriate behavior towards your husband also indicates a lack of empathy and a sense of entitlement, which are hallmark traits of what might be considered mm, narcissistic personality issues. Plus, I think we all can agree she has a distorted self-image, an overwhelming need for attention and approval. Where have we heard that before? Oh yeah, attention and validation. The inappropriate and flirtatious behavior with your husband could be, again, I'm merely sharing my opinion from what you've said, and this is not a diagnosis. I couldn't help but wonder if this is a manifestation of what they call HPD, which would be histrionic personality disorder, which I believe is characterized by excessive emotional excessive emotionality and a need to be the center of attention your sister's actions are destructive both to herself and those around her while her upbringing has played a significant role in shaping her current behavior she is ultimately responsible for her choices the best course of action would be to set firm boundaries to protect yourself and your marriage. You might consider limiting or even cutting off contact with her if she refuses to acknowledge the harm she's causing. Ultimately, your sister needs professional help, but she must be willing to seek it out. Until she confronts her issues, any attempt to mend the relationship will likely be futile. Focus on protecting your own well-being and that of your marriage, and do not allow her behavior to dictate your actions. If you are the 66.9% of men who found value in this channel, and the 33.1% of women 
please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this channel with at least three friends who need to learn from it. Confession is good for the soul. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send me the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, or subscribe to my Locals Rumble Twitter Getter or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.